Hello everyone and welcome to another 3 Minute Thursday. Today we're going to reduce repetition in SOLIDWORKS by creating and using design library features. Have you ever modeled the same feature a second, tenth, or even hundredth time? It doesn't take too many repetitions to start wondering, is there an easier way? Well, this is SOLIDWORKS, so the answer of course is yes. The specifics lie in the design library, allowing us to model a feature once and then use it over and over again. Lately, I've been putting more nuts into 3D printed parts than a squirrel into trees preparing for winter. Unlike the squirrels, however, I don't want to be doing this over and over again, so let's create a design library feature. Before we start, we want to develop a game plan. The big things to ask are, one, what references will we always be able to, to use? Two, how is this feature going to be oriented? And three, what dimensions do we want to be able to change easily? For the nut holes, I will always have the existing hole to reference. I want to orient the nut so that we can pause the printer and drop it in, so I want to make sure I can edit the angle and make this happen. First, let's create some reference geometry. I'll do a simple boss extrude and then a hole representing the hole that will already be in our part. Now we're ready to create the actual feature. Be careful with how you use relations and dimensions as this will determine how the feature gets defined in the models that we bring it into. For example, I used a concentric relation to center up the nut hole about the existing bolt hole. And then here I'm going to use a angle dimension so that I can change the angle of the nut hole if necessary. If you've got multiple sizes, this is a good time to create multiple configurations to represent those sizes. Now that we've modeled the feature, it is time to add it to the design library. To do so, we want to pre-select the feature we want to save and then do a save as dot SLD LFP for feature library part. If we don't pre-select, we can simply right click on the feature after the fact and select add to library. Make sure the correct folder path is specified in file locations. You'll now notice we have a references and dimensions folder. References help us define the feature when we bring it into a part and depend on how you've modeled it. Any dimensions that you want to be able to explicitly define every time you bring the feature into a part needs to be dragged into the locating dimensions folder. It's now time to use it. I'll open up my part, find my feature in the design library, and define it in context of my part. I can now do that over and over again without recreating the feature every time. Hope you found this 3 Minute Thursday helpful.